talking here about this application. This is called Solid Explorer. Um, very cool application. I'm pretty sure I did a video about this actually when it first came out as beta. Um, but since it's been out for a while now, it's been very refined. Definitely going to show it to you guys today. So let's go ahead and open up the application. And um, very nice. Uh, it looks like I'm already in uh, my internal memory. So here you go. This is my internal uh, storage. And what's nice about this uh, Explore is that it has this little blue bar on the bottom. You can see it's about halfway across the screen. Well, this thing is multi-window. So if you swipe over, now you have your external storage. Um, and it's really nice and you can copy between them and do lots of different things like that. Also, if you wanted to copy some things, it's really cool. You can go right here and you can go to Devices. And then you can say System Root. Um, and it's just going to bring you to the root of your system and if you want to copy anything in there you have to have root access on your device but this de Explorer does work with root access so that is very nice so just to give you um, an idea of how this functions in here we're gonna go ahead and just copy something over so we're gonna go into downloads and um, I'm just going to copy this so it's cool you can do it two different ways you can hold down and you can say copy and then you can go over to where you want it and paste it or you can touch the icon and it'll drag and then swipes over to the other screen and you let go and boom you copied so that drag and drop capability is really nice it's just a smooth transition to do it you know the other way would be just to hold down here copy swipe over hold uh, well you can't really hold yeah you can hold down there but um you probably need a blank spot to hold down but it'll give you a, a, just a paste and then you can do just do paste and then do you want to override it or you want to skip we'll go ahead and override and it doesn't change anything because it's right so you can see the functionality is very very nice um, the other thing that I've liked in here is uh, the properties menu so let me go ahead and show you guys that one I'm going to go into an app drawer or my apps here and just hold down on an application and then you hit properties and I like the view of properties I think it's really nice how it's set up um, you can see a bunch of information up here if you want to calculate the MD5 you can hit the calculate button right there you can see it's read write attributes um, and then what's also nice is you can then see its data usage how much free space you have all this other information is just very smooth and a nice property screen um, also very nice to see that is on the internal here so let me show you on here this is pretty cool um, get downloads we'll, we'll, we'll do it with downloads so you can go same thing here go properties and again this deals you okay you know you have 7.9 gigs of other you have 2. Five, three gigs of free space you know so on and so forth again calculate your md5s you can even paste in an md5 right there and uh, then you can match to see if the md5s match if you're downloading a ROM or a file so very very nice explorer so far lots of cool features let me show you some of the other ones here you can go to new and right here you can see you can add a folder add a file you can connect to an FTP or an SFTP, SMB, Web Dev Connect, or Cloud Connect. So Cloud Connect is really nice. Um, you can connect to any of these cloud features. I have Dropbox and Google Drive, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you on Google Drive, and it should launch into my Google Drive account. Shabam! There we go, and you can see it's very nice. You can access that, and then you can swipe over, and you're in your your device and you swipe back and you're in your Google Cloud. Um, so very, very cool. Definitely like the features in this thing. There is some search filters and stuff like that. We're going to go ahead and do another uh, quick jump to. Let's do that back off of the cloud here. So I can go right into downloads very easily and quickly with the jump to feature, network, photos, different things like that. And you can see external, internal, or root. And you can go right to any of those with the jump to. Let's go into menu and let's go through some of the stuff. So here you can do a search. Here you can change your view type. So right now I have it on 
detailed list, but you can also go to grid if you like the icon looking setup a little bit better. Um, we'll go ahead and change that over here to view grid. And you can see it does change the layout um, if you like that view better. There's also sort orders you can change. So file name, you can change it to file size, to modify date. You can go ahead and go through a lot of that kind of stuff if you wanted to do different sort orders. You also have file sharing, which is pretty cool. You can actually go ahead and um, make an FTP server and go to this address and then access anything in storage emulated zero um, and get it through the FTP server. You just hit start and you put in a password. Very, very cool. A uh, nice little feature as well. And other than that, you have the exit. Let's go into settings and I'll show you some of the features uh, you have in here. So you have appearance. And this is actually already on the black or dark theme. It comes stock with light when you download and install it. But I like the black, so that's what it's on right there. Uh, you do have some information here of different things you can see. Full screen mode, customize list, show status, just a whole bunch of different things. You can change the um, custom color scheme theme or scheme if you want to do that. And you can see a bunch of other information you can change there under appearance. Then you can go to files, um, show hidden files, show file permissions, and again, so on and so forth. There's quite a bit of features in here you guys can adjust and change um, back goes to root which is I like that because I do use the root file system uh, time and date so on and so forth um, let's go ahead and go to startup so this is where I actually set up to go to my two windows to be my uh, internal storage and my external so you, if you want to change that you can come in here and if you want it to start up instead of in your internal storage you want to start up maybe in your root folder you would just come up here and um, you'd be able to change that let's see if I can do this okay I gotta go back there we go Keep going up there we go that's system that's root right there isn't it yeah so then I'll hit OK and now that first window will be in root when I open my web browser and the second one will be my external SD card. So very nice right there. Those things are also very nice. Uh, gestures, there's some things you can do there. Here's some security so you can put a password on this file browser so that other people can't edit things and mess something up possibly. Using the root feature, you could edit something and really mess up the device. Um, so very nice. There's, there's other search interfaces, application data. Um, you can kind of delete and clear things off of this application. A little quick guide, support, frequently asked questions. Install Chromecast plugin if you want to use it with Chromecast. Yeah, they have that too. So there you go. That's pretty much how this functions. Um, one thing I would like to show you guys really quick here. I'm going to jump to actually, uh, we're going to go to list really quick because I like that view better. Detailed list. We'll do that over here too. View detailed list. If you turn your device sideways, it'll actually give you both windows at the exact same time. So there you go. And now you can see you can scroll over here. You can scroll over here. This is a very nice view, especially if you want to copy paste over stuff by swiping your finger over. Um, it's definitely very, very nice for that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to back out really quick. I should be in system. So yeah, you same thing. If I want to come over here and uh, copy over that Flappy Birds, you know, shabam. That simple, very nice and easy to use. Uh, good information over here. Talks about your free space down at the bottom. Um, I, I'm, I'm really digging it. I really like this browser. It's very fine and easy to function and use. Hope you guys like this little video here on Solid Explorer. Very, very cool application. Definitely pay the $1.99, get the paid version. It's well worth it. Helps support development on awesome applications like this. Hope you guys like this video here. And uh, stay tuned for more app reviews like this one. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.